nebulas, just like this one, will become and be born as stars. All stars in the universe are out in these clouds of gas and dust. Now these clouds of gas and dust are comprised of hydrogen and helium, <laughs> just the stuff stars are made of. Now these nebulas, the gas starts clumping together due to gravity, and when this starts happening, it starts spinning and creating heat, and eventually all the gas will be created into a star. Eventually, the temperature will reach 15 million degrees Celsius, or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Now when this happens, a star is officially a star. So we now have ourselves a protostar. Now a protostar is not quite a star yet. It still has a lot of gas and dust around it that needs to be put in to the sun. Brown dwarfs are only 15 to 75 times bigger than Jupiter. Our sun can fit 927 Jupiters in itself. Red dwarfs, like brown dwarfs, are smaller than our own sun. But they have the ability to use fusion, converting hydrogen into helium, plus energy. Red dwarves burn through their fuel much slower, but at a price. They cannot burn as hot as the rest of the stars. The yellow dwarf is bigger than the other dwarves, but smaller than the giants. It burns out in about 16 billion years of its creation. White dwarves are created when a yellow dwarf and a blue giant run out of nuclear energy thus creating a white dwarf, because it blows away all its other mass and is left with this, in a planetary nebula. Blue giants are the biggest stars in the universe, and also happens to be the hottest. The blue giants tend to be 20 times more massive than our own sun. Red giants come from yellow dwarves, or some of the smaller blue giants. Now, this happens when it starts running out of nuclear energy, and it starts expanding to a radius larger than when it started. Blue giants can either go supernova or turn into black holes. Now when this happens, it happens because either the core is becoming too massive and goes unstable, or its fuel is run out. Now when it goes supernova, it, comes, it becomes a uh, stellar nursery afterwards. A blue giant will turn into a black hole because it's just collapsed in on itself because it can't stabilize its gravity. Now this happens because it's just run out of fuel, basically. Now black holes, they just suck in everything and nothing is left. It, not even light, it just sucks it in and it can't get out. So it basically starts in this stellar nebula here. It will grow and become this protostar, right? Now if it doesn't have enough mass, it will become a brown dwarf. And it'll stay like that for pretty much all of eternity. Also, it can become a red dwarf, become a bigger red dwarf, and then eventually become a white dwarf. Or it become a sun-like star like, you know, yellow dwarves. It'll go really big, then blow all its mass and become a, t a planetary nebula, and thus becoming a white dwarf. Now the blue giants, well, well the smaller one, will become a red giant, and has a possibility of becoming a blue giant again, but uh, either way it's going to become a type 2 supernova, which is where it just kind of adds too much mass and just blows itself away, and, uh, and it will become a neutron star, which is kind of like a white dwarf, just smaller. Uh, the, uh, the other blue dwarves either become supernovas, either type 2 or type 1, and uh, most of the time will become black holes. But either way, most of the time, they're all going to end up back into the stellar, stellar nursery phase.